Open your own treasure house. This is the 28th Zen story from the Zen Fresh Zen Bones written by Paul Trips. Daiju visited the master Basho in China. Basho asked, what do you seek? Enlightenment replied Daiju, you have your own treasure house. Why do you search outside? Basho asked. Daiju inquired, where is my treasure house? Basho answered, what you are asking me is your treasure house. Daiju was enlightened. Ever after he urged his friends, open your own treasure house and use those treasures. What I'm trying to tell is the people who do not understand their own treasure house, understand their own power, they are the people who goes to the church, the masjid and the temple. Otherwise, church, masjid, temples are so beautiful if you understand yourself. Otherwise, that is a dirty because when you go to church, masjid and the temple, you'll be forced to go to stand in front of the politicians and the gurujis like us in front of our ashrams. Then you are called a slave. You are a slave. And if you know to go to the temples, masjid, churches, from there you lead, your mind leads you to the politician's house to beg him to the religious people like us to beg us. You become a slave. Once you become a slave, then you go to one place in Canada, it is ha ha ha, means aspitri, as ha ha aspitri. In English, it is hospital. Ha ha hospital. And the hospital people will laugh at you because they know you know to eat. You go to the toilet, you know to clean your bum. And to clean the bum, you are coming to the hospital. They laugh at you. So look into your treasure house. Daiju visited the master Basho China. Basho asked, what do you seek? Obrogi Basho master Obrogi the Basho master Trahoi Keludru. Basha Master Noda ke ho waga, Basha Master ke reen maga, yeh ni ke bandhi dunna. Basha asked his disciple, why did you come to visit me? And the disciple Daiju said, I came for enlightenment because I heard in all the Buddhist ashrams, Hindu ashrams, they teach you how to be enlightened. Hence, I came to learn what is enlightenment. You have your own treasure house. Why do you search outside? Ask Basho. You have your own treasure house. Why do you seek outside? I was walking in the street and I saw one grandmother searching for something outside the house. I also went and searched. And then I thought, I will ask the grandmother what is it that she was searching. I asked the granny, Granny, what are you searching? And the granny said, I'm searching for my needle. So I also searched for some time. Then it came to my mind, I should ask her, Granny, do you remember where did you lose or drop your needle? And the grandmother said, yes, I do. And I asked where. She said, I lost my needle in my room. I was shocked. Granny, if you lost, dropped your needle in your room, why are you searching outside? And the granny said, in my room there is no light, so I'm searching outside. So you and your gran grannies, that has got to, no difference. The granny says, I lost my needle in the room because there is no light, I'm searching outside. You are also doing the outside. So when your teacher teaches you, that is the light. You have to find it there, then and there. You have the most powerful organ, the brain, and it's millions of cells. Each cell is worth millions of dollars. And if you know how to use it, like Mahatma Gandhi said, the power of the, the spirit, the strength of the civil disobedience movement is provoke till they respond. That is the strength. Provoke till they respond. And will provoke till they respond. 
Yeah. You asked the master, where is my treasure house? And Basha answered, what you are asking me is your treasure house. Ninda, nobody can give you trouble. Your house is dirty. Your room is dirty. Your body is dirty. You didn't take bath. And when you take, don't take bath, you go to somebody else. They said, stinking. They won't allow you inside. Take bath. And where is him say? Where there is torture? Where there is problems? Basha answered, what you asking me is your treasure house. Daiju was enlightened. Ever after that, he urged his friends. Open your own treasure house and use those treasures. What you ask, what question you're asking, inside that question is the treasure house is the answer. Daiju was shocked. Multiple satories happened. He was enlightened. The moment he heard that answer, use your own treasure house. What you're asking is your treasure. Use it. When Basho said, Daiju was shocked. For the first time, he understood his eyes were closed, blocked. Ears were closed, blocked. Brain was shut down by the discipline, forced education of your parents and your teachers. Your heart was blocked. You keep on asking for love. And love comes, you block, you suspect the love. For a second, everything busted. Pataki, Diwali, Diwali came, crackers burst, like crackers burst, Satori happened, varieties of Satoris, multiple Satoris, Satoris is orgasmic experience, wow, everything is wow, there is no male and female, right or wrong, rich or the poor, it is just orgasm, anything is orgasm, anything is Satori, and he became enlightened, he became a Buddha. And where, whenever he goes anywhere, when people ask him a question, he said, what you're asking is with you, use it. What you're asking is with you, use it. Use it. That is your treasure. When you have the treasure, why there is daridri, poverty in this line? Why should you borrow? Don't borrow. Don't borrow another person's strength. You have your own strength.